Hi, I'm Chris with Adventures in DIY, and this is a personalized boxing sign that I made with the X-Carve. Let me show you how I made it. This project is made from some straight grain Douglas fir. The 5 inch boards were cross cut to 17 inches. I cleaned up those glue lines with a card scraper. Of course I have to make this bigger than the planer I have. So to flatten the boards, I marked the high points with chalk and hand planed it flat. The uneven end grain side was trued up before it was cut to 16 inches. The idea is to deeply burn the wood so it really raises the grain. Even though I burned both the sides, the center board warped from the heat. To fix this, I slice the board down the center and then tap the fence slightly to recut the boards and square them up. After I had the freshly glued boards and the clamps, I put some white glue on the seam and pushed the ash into it to help hide it. Use a brass wire brush to aggressively remove the burnt parts of the wood. From there, I used a compressed whisk brush to remove more of the burnt areas. After that, I used a burnisher made from bamboo skewers to create a smooth surface on the raised parts. The design was created in Adobe Illustrator using a copyright-free vector image I found online. From there, it was uploaded into Easel, set to an eighth inch carving depth with uh, the default settings for birch. I didn't want to break the only bit I had, so that's why I was conservative with the settings. I was using a small shop vac, which was way louder than the X-Carve spindle. I'm going to give props to that clawed foot for doing a good job of holding the hose. But it became really apparent that the next project I should do is a vacuum hose attachment for this thing. I don't know what my problem was, but for some reason I just stand there in like a hypnotic state watching the spindle work along a path. The total carving time took about five and a half hours. And actually that kind of gave me a little time to clean up the garage a little bit. There were a couple areas that weren't milled completely flat, so I cleaned those up with a chisel. Douglas fir tends to splinter, so there were a couple areas that were chipped out. First I tried hiding it using a brown marker, but what ended up working out best was to reburn the areas with a soldering iron. For a finish I used some spray-on water-based satin polyurethane. I can't believe how easy it was to use easel with the X-Carve, and uh, I'd like to thank Inventables for giving me the opportunity to test this out. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you don't mind, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. And if you get a chance, check us out in the social media links and the website down below in the description. Most of all, get out there and make something, and we'll see you next time.